So I'm Gary Mitchell. I help coordinate some of what what we're about on this site and other sites around Mid Wales. And we operate under the charity of Cum Harry Land Trust, but we run a separate entity called Cultivate, which is a, a cooperative, um, a sort of a members workers cooperative uh, involving general public. Uh, service users, producers, retailers, a whole group of people come together um, and one of our aims and ethos is, is around improving the local food economy. We run a veg box scheme which we've been doing for 14, 15 years now. We've got some very loyal and dedicated customers around the communities that we deliver to and some come and collect which is great. Um, and then three years ago we won a big lottery bid uh, under a project called Get Growing and that was about introducing people to the idea of community gardening and that's what we've been running here for the last three years on this site. I suppose we would class ourselves as a sort of can-do think tank so we're, we're a bunch of thinkers but actually we're quite practically minded as well. We are quite diverse and I suppose that reflects on the people that we work with so we've got a diverse group that we support or they support us as well and, and it is mutually benefit. Some of the key reasons that our volunteers perhaps come to us, I think one of the big ones is the social element. Um, they really perhaps live an isolated life, um, they might be elderly, they might be single parents, unemployed etc etc and what we can offer them is just an opportunity to socialise with other people even if it's only for a couple of hours, change the scenery, they can come and do a bit of physical work so they can sort of build up a bit of a sweat and then we feed them so we introduce them to actually healthy eating via that method although we'd never sort of ram it down their throat like that. Um, but yeah I, th I would say the social element is a big one. Um, building confidence. For a lot of the volunteers we work with they perhaps do come to us quite shy, quite reserved, a little bit insular but over a number of months perhaps even years in some cases, they really start to sort of turn their lives around and become much more confident. They're able to do much more things on their own outside of what we offer them, which is great. We hear some amazing stories about what they get up to in their spare time. We've had some reasonable youngsters come to us with severe sort of drug dependency problems, but actually through just connecting with us on a bit of a light touch, we've managed to introduce other ideas to them, other things that they might be able to try. And actually some have ended up travelling around the world, which is fantastic. We're only connected to one or two wider organisations and they really have to be of benefit to us to warrant either a membership fee or our time and input and things. And one of the ones that, that we do really work well with is the Federation City Farm Community Gardens. What they offer us is that huge network that they've got as member groups and even non-member groups um, spread all across Wales, the rest of the UK. We could be a little bit insular and just look what happens within our own boundaries but actually what the Fed offers us opportunities is to go and have a look at other projects, learn from others. Lots of projects come and visit us which is great so it's knowledge sharing is, is key. Um, and I think it is a real worry for us even just focusing on what we're up to not what's going on in the wider world and the Fed they have that ability to perhaps work on some of the policy issues we would love to dream of being able to influence some of the Welsh Government policies but we're not we're not an organisation that's perhaps strong enough or got time or capacity to do that but we can offer our input to perhaps a consultation via the Federation and they can do it via the masses which is great so it, it's real sort of people power people movement 